I'm going to show you how to edit together shots taken with multiple cameras at the same time. Multi-cam editing. Go to Working Files, open up Projects, and open up 1208 Multicam. This project has four clips in it, all shot at the same time on a production shoot. I'll load up all four here in the source monitor by just marquee selecting them and then dragging them to the source monitor. Numbered one through four. Let's take a brief look at them here. You see they use a clapboard there. Marker. There you go. That one is a clapboard. The second one does as well. Marker. And the third one. Here we go. No sound this time, but you can see the clapboard. And the fourth one doesn't have one because it's a tight yep. shot of the feet, but you can hear it. And that's how we're going to line these guys up. Your first order of business when doing a multiple camera edit is to line up all the shots. You can line them up with markers, line them up with in points, out points, or time code. If you happen to get all the same time code in all the cameras, that's one way to do it, but most folks won't do that. Most folks won't have a clapboard like that either. In general, mostly all you need to do is just clap your hands together, and that's a good way to do a clapboard. At any rate, let's just line up those guys by going through them one at a time here. Go to this first one. I want to put a marker where that clapboard hits. So I can just play it. I use my arrow key to get it lined up right there. And I'm going to put a marker there by clicking on this add a marker. There we go. Let's go to the next one. Number two, same routine as that one. Let's back up a little bit here with my arrow key. There it comes together. That's a marker. If we're off by a frame or two, that won't be a problem. Get this one together. I'll back up a little bit. You can see the marker there. Here she comes down. Right there. Right there. Put a marker there. And now I need to listen to the fourth one because we don't see that marker. So let's just listen here. So back up. You can see the view meter in the lower right-hand corner here. You can actually watch it come in right there. So I'll put the marker there. So now I've got four clips all lined up with markers. Now what we want to do is create a multi-camera sequence. So I select all four clips like that. I right-click on it, and I say Create Multi-Camera Source Sequence, right there. And it says, how do you want to line these guys up? What's the synchronization point? And we put a marker in there, so there it is. And it's unnamed marker number one. If we had named it, we could have put the name there. Also, we'll ask what you want to call it. So I'm going to call this one Multi-Cam Sequence. There we go, like so. And there we have it. Now notice the icon here, it shows four layers there. It just so happens that we have four clips there, but that's just a coincidence that there are four there. You can have as many shots as your computer can handle inside a multi-cam sequence, but we've got four here. I want to see that sequence, and normally you can double-click on a sequence and it'll open up over here, but it doesn't. It just opens up inside the source monitor there. I'd rather see it over here in the timeline to see what it looks like. Well, in this case, you've got to right-click on it and then scroll on down here to open in timeline. There you go. Now you can see it. You see we've got these four clips here. They're all stacked up, and you can see the markers there, how they're all lined up like that. And if you scroll through it, you see that Audio 1 is turned on, but the other ones are not. Audio 1, let's see that one. Let's listen here. It's the right channel. Audio 2 is basically silent. Scroll on down here. Audio 3 is both channels. And Audio 4 is the left channel. So we're going to use Audio 3 as our source for audio. We can change that later. But what I want to do now is open these guys up inside a multi-camera monitor. But you can't open up this multi-cam sequence in a multi-cam monitor. All you're going to see is the top clip. You won't see the other three. So what you need to do is you need to nest this sequence in another sequence. It seems kind of an odd extra step, and a lot of people forget about this. But that's what you have to do if you want to actually do some multi-camera editing. So right-click on this sequence and say, New Sequence from Clip. Yes, it's not a clip. It's a sequence from a sequence, but that's what you say. New sequence from clip. Then you can name this if you want to. It's called multicam sequence here because it gets the name from what you just did. Here's the multicam sequence there, and here's the nested one. I'm going to call this one nested. There you go. Now we got that one. So we're going to work on this sequence down here, the nested one, this guy here. We need to work on it inside the multicam monitor. But before we go there, I kind of want to practice a little bit. I'm going to go back to the multicam sequence that we're looking at right there. I want to click on this and kind of click through it. Marker. And when I click through it, I can actually click on these guys and just kind of look at them to get a little practice to see how I'm going to put this together later. So I'm thinking I might start on this shot here. And then maybe here. Here. So I'm getting a sense for how it's going to work. And I got a feeling I want to start with a group shot and then go to the medium shot and then go that way. So that's kind of how I want to put it together. 
So now I need to open up the multi-camera monitor. This is not the monitor. This is just the source monitor showing you what we just double clicked on down here and opened up there. So I want to select this and then I want to go to window multi-camera monitor. That's the kind of confusing step that people forget because you need to open up the multi-camera monitor some way. And the way you open it up is by selecting this, going to window multi-camera monitor. So here we are inside the multi-camera monitor. All four shots are available. I'm going to pull forward here a little bit to the place where they actually start. Right about there is where they're going to start. And I want this to be the first shot, so I'm kind of ready there. And once I click play, then I'm going to start making changes. And then those changes will be edits. But we can always update the edits later if we don't like them. So I'm going to click play. Now let's take a look at that. I'm going to go back to the beginning here. And we can watch this and edit it if we want. Let's just take a look at it, though. We can watch it right here. Play it. You'll see it here. And then you see the camera changes here. All right. Now let's say I want a different shot there instead of that one. I'm going to spread out the timeline a little bit here. I'm going to press the forward slash key when I make this active. There we go. Let's just look at these shots here. I'm going to make a little more room here as well while we're at it. There we go. I'm going to spread it out even more so I can see the names of the cuts. I got cut two, one, three, two. So I'm thinking maybe number two here would be better if that were number four. So I just hover over it like this, and I see one, two, three, four. I can click on the fourth one there. That just changes it. Simple as that. If I want to go along here, from there to there, there. Maybe I want to cut this one in two. If I want to cut this one in two, I want to go to something besides that shot. I want to go to this shot in the middle of that shot. Hold on the control of the command key and then click on this. That'll cut it in two. Put the previous shot there and then the new one after it, like that. Pretty simple. So we're going to go like that, to that, to that. So that's how you can edit it after the fact. And with all these clips here, you can also put in cross dissolves or any other kind of transition. So I'm going to put a cross dissolve right there by going control or command D to put in a cross dissolve there. there we go. If I want to put an effect on these guys, I can put effect on this clip by itself, or I can go back to the multi-cam sequence and put an effect on one of those clips. I'll put one on the top here so we can see it while we work on it. We'll just check it out right there. I'll go over to Effects. I'm going to type in HLS to add this color balance effect on there. I'm going to move this out of the way, go to Effect Controls Panel, and adjust the hue in that guy quite a bit. And you can see the color up there on top. Make it turn red. Let's see, get red. There we go, reddish like that, kind of purple red. All right, and now that will be affected throughout the entire collection of clips. Click on this, we'll watch those guys. You see there is a red thing now. It's going to turn up every time we switch to that camera, there's going to be that red effect. So you can go back and affect things that way. And if you decide you want to use different audio, you can go back over here as well. So if you decide you don't want to use audio on track two, you want to use one and four instead, for instance, so you can control the left and the right volume better, then you can do that as well. So the multi-camera tool is a pretty cool feature inside Premiere Pro. Not only can you simulate live camera switching, but you can go back and replace shots. You can do cut edits in those shots. You can apply effects, transitions, and adjust the audio after the fact.